and averagely I spend four to six hours each time just sharing with young people between ages 25 to 35. They were my target goal. We talked about life and we talked about everything. And one session I said to them was simply about investments. And I said, we spent six hours on the day of the investment. And it was simple. I asked most people, what is your target goal? And they told me the kind of money they'd like to have in their bank balance. I then asked them to explain their lifestyle to me. And in the midst of their lifestyle, I found them the money. Because it was easy to show them that they were already richer than they aspired to be. But they didn't have that kind of money or that kind of balance because within their lifestyle, they were consuming their future wealth. And you see, when Yoruba people say that, that 20 children cannot play together for 20 years, what they really mean is at the stage of childhood, you're literally all the same. Secondary school, your peers, whatever advantage you have over the next person, it's not because of you. Maybe your father has, your mother has. That's not yours. That's somebody else's wealth. Because your father could die without giving you a dime. Or he could die and you find out that he was living on borrowed money. Or maybe you go and marry and you think your husband has money. Then soon enough, you find out that he doesn't have what he seems to have. What is really important is what do you have control of? What is the cash flow that you can definitely say that this one, I am sure of it because of this. And within that cash flow, what part of it are you able to hold in a disciplined manner that allows you to make that money work for you? I always share this theory of sand and a block. How many people know it? A few that have taught over time. Your sand is the money you're gathering a little at a time. If it doesn't amount to much, it's sand. It means when the wind comes, it will scatter. If there's a flood, it will just totally disappear. But if you are consistent and you're disciplined, like the three women that were rewarded today, and over time, you don't lose sight of your goal. And you stay with it long enough to have enough sand to mold a block. What you would have will no longer be sand. It will become a block. And the difference between a block and a sand is what? That when the wind comes and everything, the sand can scatter. But what happens to the block? Assuming this is your block, when you do this to the edge of the block, what do you have in your hand? Good, smart girls. Until you have molded the block that will generate the sand, you don't consume your sand. Cause the sand will scatter, but you need the block that will continue to yield you sand. And the only way you do that is that you're disciplined, you're determined, you're dedicated to your goal. And that's like Oja and like Tommy, you find that kind of support system that holds your hand in the weak moments. That kind of voice that says, you know, you cannot buy one more Ashebi. That kind of voice that says to you, you look good, but learn how to make yourself up. That kind of voice that says to you, we're going to the mall just to have a social visit, but you're buying nothing because you don't need anything. That kind of sound, uh, voice that says to you, her jewelry pieces are beautiful, but you haven't won all the ones in your vault or in your wardrobe, and you're not buying one more. That kind of voice that says to you, this is not the year where you're having that big party or something because you have a goal you have set for this year. See that young lady who just now owns half a plot of land in Lagos. She's never going to be poor. It's not, you know, it's not a prophecy because there are things that you do that prophesy into your life. So this isn't about, oh, it's a, pro no, no, no. It's about the discipline, the dedication, and the commitment to goal. 
it's about making choices. Life is about opportunity cost. For everything you do, there's something else you have chosen not to do. For everything you have, there's something else you have chosen not to have. For everything you do now, you have chosen to defer something else. The ability to make those choices, it's about how you think. It's about what you value. It's about what you consider important. It's about where you have chosen to go to. And many people choose to go to great places but never get there. Simply because though they say, they do not do. The saying is cheap. The doing is tough. And the, you don't get things you need or you want from saying. You only achieve them in the doing. And in being able to do, you must set up a system of actions and activities around you daily. It was why we had the panel on the daily habits of people who want to build sustainable wealth. It's about the things you do every single day.